Hi there, Taurus. This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia, and welcome to your monthly general reading for August 2021. If you guys are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that bell twice, all right? So this way you get all notifications. And welcome back to my regular subscribers. Love to see you guys here. Thank you for your love and support as always. Um, you guys know the drill with the general readings. It's not always about love. Other things can come in. Um, we start off with the Oracle cards and then we get into the Tarot spread, which is the beginning, middle, and the end. I try not to say the end of the month anymore because time's always moving. Some of you may have been through this or going through it now and others of you, it's going to be a little down the road, okay? But I am reading for a lot of different people. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Please, guys, do not force anything to fit. If it's not your story, it's not your story, and that's okay, absolutely. If you want something more private and personable, um, yes, my books are open. You can go to my website. All of that is in the description box below. It's the only way you can book with me. I do not do short readings as of right now. Um, the sessions are Harmonite sessions, all right? I'm a psychic medium, I'm a channeler, I'm a life coach, um, and these sessions are really intended for you, right? To empower you. So yes, we do do readings. I do do the cards and so forth, but they're so unique and it's more of an hour um, session for you. All right. <clears throat> so you can check that out on my website. You'll also might notice guys on my website, I have a membership area now. It's not open just yet. So just know that if you go in there and you're like, there's nothing here, it's because I'm going to have a big announcement in September in regarding membership packages. And I'm really excited about it. And I'm excited for you guys. Um, so yeah, so there's more to come on Harmonia. But without further ado, Taurus, let's get to your reading, all right? Let's see what is in store for you this month. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and ascended masters as to what messages we have for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? What is Taurus going on? What's going on in Taurus land? What's going on in Taurus? <clears throat> and what animal spirit um, do we have for Taurus? What animal spirit is with you? Ooh, I like that. And we're going to start off with the animal spirit. Koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. 35 comes to a, this is about abundance, stability, something that physically is going to, or intangible that is going to be coming up in your life because spirit has a plan. So listen, guys, if you are losing hope, spirit has your back with the koala here. Okay. And I feel for a lot of you, the fact that you have trust, trust reversed. This is that telling, this is what, this is why we start with the animal spirit first. It does feel like this energy of you guys not trusting. Many of you are losing hope that things are going to pan out in your favor. This can be in regards to love. It could be in regards to just like life purpose or having something come towards you, like, you know, maybe a brand spank can start in career or money. Some of you are having some money issues here. You have also, guys, lighten your load with Atlas here. This reminds me a lot of the Ten of Wands energy, which is the overburden in regular tarot. Um, but I do feel like a completion is here because the idea of lightening your load is also lightening, lighting, lightening your load with your worries, despair, um, anxiety. I feel a lot of you are going through being anxious, um, feeling like it's, it's, it's getting heavy. I feel very heavy right now. It feels the level of like, I don't know if this is ever going to come. And I've worked so, I keep hearing, I worked so hard. I worked so hard for this. Let's see what the tarot messages have to say. Oh man, it's, this feels like giving up hope, having anxiety, nightmare stage, feeling burden, feeling heavy burden on this. Here we go. Ooh, we start off with the five of swords, the ace of wands, and the page of swords reverse, and death is here. This is a good sign though. <laughs> Towards the middle, we have the eight of swords reverse, the three of pentacles, the star, seven of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the two of wands, the world energy, and we have the 10 of cups here. What are you worried about here, Taurus? Ah, oh, ah, uh, two of swords reversed. You guys feel stuck. You guys feel like nothing is going in your favor, but it's reversed. So you're going to get clarity. This is about communication. 
something th something that you need to hear but not just hear see I'm, I'm feeling I'm, it's just you're so burdened by this and it has to do guys I mean it has to do with some kind of opportunity or offer it does I mean you, you're heavily heavily in your head about this now we start off with more air energy here Libra Gemini Aquarius you might have air in your chart itself but I'm calling it out because there is a lot of air here so it feels to me that you feel scolded it feels almost like your ego is getting in the way I don't feel like this and now this could be other people too that you feel this around but to me, I feel like it's your own ego getting in the way, self-sabotage, because we have the Ace of Wands next to this, and there is a new beginning here. There is opportunity coming your way. It's having the world in your hands. It's having that golden fleece on your shoulder. There is something new here that you feel is not coming. You're not getting clear observation on this. The Page of Swords is reversed. There's something that you really wish and desire and you have always hoped for it. And you've worked hard for this. Maybe it's working hard on letting things go, having things and going with the flow. Maybe it's meaning that you just worked hard on yourself. But this observation and this clarity of needing the truth, seeking the truth, feels blocked but I'm here to tell you this is the end of this it is it's the end death death is all about transformation it's also about a new beginning there is a new beginning here but it is on divine planning it's on divine timing many of you feeling stuck feeling like you are in a temporary situation and you hate it you hate it you feel like you've been temporary in this situation forever but i feel this is going away something is dissolving about this because the eight of swords of feeling like oh my gosh am i gonna get this and anxiety all here is reversed and i feel for many of you um you are going to let this burden go you are going to start trusting. There is something here with this death that is gonna allow this transformation. But I feel like it's an internal switch. I do not feel like it's the people or places or the environment that you are in. There is an internal switch that goes off here that all of a sudden is the aha moment. Maybe it's the perception of now realizing that things around you are working in your favor, working together because the three of pentacles followed by the star and the seven of pentacles there's an opportunity here to collaborate some of you maybe you felt like this collaboration or this relationship maybe had false starts is not starting it's there but it may not be going in the time frame that you want it okay if you guys are waiting for that position that to, to get promoted or waiting for that person, it's like, oh my God, I'm so sick of this. Oh, and just having like anxiety over it, okay? The star is about healing though. It comes after the tower. So I feel that you guys have already been through a tower moment or feeling the shocking truth that things aren't going on your timing and you have to let go. But this is letting go of old beliefs. This is letting go of old patterns. Some of you, it's even letting go of people, creating the own closure that you need, not for others, but for you. Some of you need to hear that it's okay, that you can forgive and not for the other person, but for you. Now, seven of pentacles about putting your seeds, reaping the rewards, but again, it's having patience. It is, it's about having patience. And I feel for many of you, um, you've had a practical side of you. You've given a lot to a situation, physical, and it's a sense like this could be work, but somebody here is contemplating. Somebody here is a little bit slower in making decisions or has been very practical um, as in regards to stability. Um, but this is because it's permanent. I'm hearing permanent because this isn't this is something long term. This isn't something where this person is a thinker. Like I feel like they're doing this a lot, Taurus. Like I feel like this person does this a lot, right? Like they're thinking. They're really thinking about you know what, about this opportunity, this offer because this person is very methodical 
about the decisions that they make, even though that you might have a lot to offer. You do. Your own energy here is. I feel for many of you, you're, you're secure, you're very nurturing, you're loving, could even be a parent, could be good mom or dad, but you're very nurturing. Um, you provide for others because you can, because your cup is full. Um, you enjoy the finer things in life. But again, the two of wands energy is always about options and choices. And I feel like this option is, and because that's the higher font in the cave there, um, for the representation of this, this particular deck, the mythology deck, I feel like this is in regards to some kind of partnership or relationship, right? It's like, oh my gosh, is this going to pan out? I feel like it's going to pan out, but it's not going on the time frame that I want, right? And the actions are you want to take action. You have the one energy here. But this is about living your life to the fullest with knowing that things go on the flow and you don't have the control over it, but still being happy. Not happy waiting because no, we should never wait. We should live our life. The world. Notice two people in union here. This is the completion. It's the end of the major arcana. The world is the end of the major arcana to start a new beginning. You are right here. The rewards are coming, but the rewards are not coming when you think they are. They will come when they're divinely planned because this involves other, this involves another person and everybody has free will, right? But know that if this is love related guys, know that if this started now, this relationship would never work out. Or if you got this job now, this relationship would never work out because this person is not in alignment in the same vibration pattern as you are. Okay, they're going through some clearing themselves. All the tools are here, just like the, you know, magician card here. But this is this is everything has to line up because overall you got the Ten of Cups. There is a loving relationship here that's going to be fulfilling. And we haven't even gotten to the outcome cards yet, but I feel like there's a genuine partnership here that is loving, supportive, union coming together. I keep hearing coming together, but this is on divine timing. It's trusting. And if you are focused so much on an individual and you're not, you're not living your life, it could be that you may miss an opportunity with another for another partnership of some sort or opportunity. Spirit does not want you to wait on an individual. Do not wait on a person. This is about living your life. This is about finding out who you are, what makes you tick. Um realizing that your hopes and desires do not have to just because they're not flourishing in your timing does not mean that there's not other opportunities spirit always brings in the universe always brings in something better for you and trust it trust it we're gonna have the vice versa deck here and i do not do reversals as i don't feel guided to on the alpha cards here we go we have the six of wands <laughs> we have the higher fonts we have the queen of wands and we have the empress wow guys this is moving on this is moving towards calmer waters okay you are definitely with the higher font energy here right of of this energy of getting counseling or mentorship i feel for many of you this is you too this is an this is inner mentorship for yourself you and you know, I'm seeing this meaning like there's victory here. I feel like there's victory here and there's five, which is a change. And you got two major arcanas and the outcome cards here, but it feels to me that you are moving away, not from a contract, but you're moving towards it. So you're moving towards something that is higher level of um, where you're supposed to be. This is divine. You're going to be in a relationship that was divinely lined up. And the fact that you have the Queen of Wands here and the Empress energy. The Queen of Wands is about taking action, desires, love. And the Empress is about birth. Fertility. Feminine energy here, receiving. Taurus, this is your own energy. You, there's something about 
that you, I just feel that you're allowing yourself this inner peace to live presently and to trust the universe and to let go, to move to common waters. The Spirit's asking you to move to common waters. Some of you, they're asking you, you know, for that. Maybe you need, maybe you do need some additional counseling of some sort or self-development. Or maybe you guys are going to work on more self-development, you know, things to find out about you. But this time and this space that is created to move towards this is divinely time so that you guys can grow and have a firm partnership of dreams and hopes in here and desires because the Ten of Cups is here. So I do feel like there is some kind of partnership or union that is in the works. It's in the back end. But this feels to me, guys, the level of divine timing and to live your life to the fullest and allowing yourself to learn to know, like, this is your time. This is, I keep hearing this is me time. This is, this is the time for me. And although it might feel lonely or like it's not coming quick enough, it's because you are letting go of stuff that no longer serves you, right? You're fulfilling inner child um, healing as well right? Some of you, this is the first time you've been on your own. Some of you, this is the first time, you know, you're taking leaps on a financial decision or a business because this partnership or things are not lining up to how you are. It's because you have to face some things about yourself and it's never about the other person. Sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried at night. And I do feel for many of you, it's that nightmare stage of, like I said, not trusting. It's like that nine of swords thing. And I do feel called to add, get another, <laughs> another card for you, which, wow, okay, now I know why. Um, it says, harmony is pure love, for love is complete with agreement, okay? This is, guys, getting out of your head and really balancing your masculine and feminine energy. It's all about balance. Some of you, this is in regards to love and a twin flame. And I don't like to throw that word a lot because people are get hung up on it. But this is meaning that two people need to be balanced on their own individually for this harmony to partake, whether this is a union or not. And not every twin flame is meant to be with their with their twin flame. It's the lessons, guys. It's the it's the vibration of moving up for yourself, right? The completion and wholeness is about your own individual journey. There's lessons here, but there is a lot of harmony that this is creating. So even though you may feel anxious or you may feel like it's not going to ever happen, Spirit's reminding you that the harmony comes within, that the harmony is there. It's a, something that you create for yourself. And many of you need to realize this. This is about being present. It's just being about being present, right? You don't have the anxiety when you're um, thinking of when you're thinking of the future, you have that anxiety, right? And then when you think of the past, it's like depression. It's th that one saying. I actually just posted this in my group when I was on the on the beach of uh, Lake Superior the other day. But there's this need and desire to be present because you won't feel that way. It's peace. It's harmony. It's love. You're whole. You're complete. All right, guys, um, if this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And hey, if you guys are on Facebook and if you're still listening, um, I encourage you to go to the Facebook group. It's a closed group. It's called Harmonia Friends. You can just search Harmonia Friends. Um, it is a awesome soul tribe, uh, very much so into self-development. And if you are a fellow lightworker like myself, whether you're a reader or just a healer or anything else and beyond, um, I encourage you also to join because we love to collaborate and I also have each month a Harmonite Spotlight where I give the Harmonite Spotlight the floor to tell themselves about, you know, their services and so forth. So a good opportunity for all of us. All right, you guys take care and hope to see you there.